Hey guys, this is Rahul and you welcome to gomahamaya.com dot com. And in this tutorial, we'll be learning how you can create a three not one redirect in your website without using any kinds of plugin via SCSS file in just three minutes. And now, once you are inside the cPanel, you have to scroll down and you have to find files. Click on Files Manager. And now here you'll find various sets of options. If you have only one domain, it will be inside public underscore HTML. If you have multiple domains like Adams domain, it will be like outside your public underscore HTML. So which says uh, your website name. My website is inside public underscore HTML. So I'll click on that. And once you're inside public underscore HTML, here you'll find dot SCSS file. If you could not find dot SCSS, you have to click on setting and you have to click on show hidden files click on save and here you can find dot scss if you still could not find dot scss click on files and here you have to type dot scss in the file name make sure you're using dot in the beginning and click on create new one as like i already have so i'll click on ok now you have to select dot scss and click edit and click on edit again and now once you're on the scss page you have to scroll down and whatever the code is there inside the SCSS, you don't have to bother about that. Just reach in the last and give some enter and paste the following code. which says permanent redirect URL, redirect 301. This is a permanent code that you don't need to change. And there's a link one and link two. You have to replace link one with the old URL and link two with the new URL. Let me go to my page, which says Number one is the demo.gomahamaya.com slash contact and number two is demo.gomahamaya.com slash blog. I'll copy the first link. I want that contact page to get redirected to blog page. You can use it for any kinds of purpose. You can uh, redirect for the old URL to new URL. You can even send your website link to some other website link by using this method. I'll go to my SCSS file and now I'll replace that link one with my contact page and I'll say paste. This is my link one and I want that link two to be block page. It means that a contact page will be redirected this particular page. So I'll copy this link. It says block page and I'll paste in this area paste. And now one of the major mistake done by the people while creating 301 redirect is they add their website link in the first part. Your website link should not be there. Like your link, only your link should be there after your website URL and the full domain URL for the second page, second page which you want to redirect. So I'll cut that. And now this is your final. If you use that code, that will not going to redirect your page or post. So make sure your URL should be in this form slash contact and next this should be the full URL. And once you click on save changes and now if you'll go to your contact page like demo.gomahamaya.com slash contact, I'll click on refresh. And now bingo, it's getting redirected to go demo.gomahamaya.com slash blog. And you can even redirect it to Google. Let's say someone is typing to contact us in my website. This is your website. That's why there's no domain required in the beginning, right? And it says like, I want the contact page to get redirected to Google. So instead of this area, I'll type google.com. So remove this area complete and say paste. And now our contact page will get redirected to www.google.com. And once you're done with this URL, click on save change. And now we'll go back to our website and test whether it's working or not. I'll go to my blog page and instead of that blog, I'll type contact and I'll give enter. Whoa, it's not working. What is the reason? because it's taking your browser cache inside your browser this demo.gomahamaya.com slash contact page is stored as blog so you tried opening that page in incognito window or new window or you can try clearing your browser cache so now we'll go and open a new tab and say new incognito window and here i'll type demo.gomahamaya.com slash contact and give enter and now it's getting redirected to google.com right now we'll go back again and now 
even you can redirect 404 pages which is not inside your website which can be redirected let's say i don't have blog page inside my website and i want it to get redirected to my home page so instead of this page i'll type blog and here i'll write my main website name which says uh, demo.gomhamai.com and i'll click on save changes and now you're done if you'll refresh the page it will get redirected to home page i hope you find this video useful if you have any question or query let me know in the comment section if you haven't clicked subscribe click on subscribe button for the more further updates thank you